So congratulations on this movie. Thank you. It blew me away. <laughs> I have not been this anxious while watching a film in a very long time. <laughs> well, that's, well, I mean, that's what I wanted to. Yeah, that Thank was you. the goal. <laughs> so can you talk about the preparation it took to achieve this film? Yes, well, loads. <laughs> <laughs> to sum it up, loads. Um, so to create the script for this film, Sam and I basically had to throw out everything we knew about traditional script writing, screenplay writing, and start from scratch because, well, it's a story told in real time. So it's very different to kind of anything else that's out there at the moment. And then also the script itself had to read like one shot. Um, and you have to do that without any camera description in the script because it oh. should be very emotional. Um, but the place we really started from was the two characters because ultimately when you sit in the theatre and you watch this, which I hope people will, um, it's the characters that you care about. So we started with these two young men um, and then we built the journey around them. And can you talk about the filming locations and the sets? Because they yes. were mind-boggling. You felt like you were there, which I, I know was the point. I genuinely... the So Dennis, Gass, Dennis Gassner, who did the set design, I mean, we, it was just out of this world. It was incredible. I mean, the only way I could describe those sets was time travel. I found myself <laughs> in the rehearsals on No Man's Land, um, and it was foggy, and I, I got a bit turned around, I got a bit lost, because it was huge. The sets were vast, they were massive. They were the length that the boys travel, which is really far. Um, and I couldn't see anyone else in the fog. I couldn't even see the outside world or the edges of the set. And it, it felt like I'd fallen through a hundred years of history. Wow. It was so unbelievably detailed and, and current and present. Um, and that was the same for every set in this film. Wow. And can you talk about working with Sam and co-writing yes. the script with him and your collaborative process? Yeah. Well, Sam and I have, have been working together for a few years now. And um, we had other projects that hadn't gone because of rights issues, stuff like that. Um, he is um, just one of the best men I know, actually. One of the best collaborators. I mean, he's obviously an incredible talent, a visionary, a director that is kind of unparalleled. Um, mm -hmm. But him as a person and, and as someone who is a co-writer is just very open, honest, so easy to work with. Um, you're not afraid to pitch him bad ideas, which is so <laughs> important because if you can't do that, you never get to the good ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, the thing that I find, I mean, really very special is that he treats me as an equal. I'm never treated as junior or, you know, the woman in the room that doesn't know about war. That's which huge. Is, yeah, it is. It's a massive, massive thing, um, really, when you consider it. Um, and so to be treated as an equal, to have an equal voice in the script, um, was, it was just such a joy. And how much time did you spend on set? You mentioned getting I was on lost. Set every day. Every day? Every day, yeah. And that's I was, unusual. I was, yeah, it's really unusual. I was um, six months of rehearsals every day on set. Because of the nature of the film, there's no final edit in mm -hmm. a traditional sense. There was actually a huge amount of editing going mm -hmm. on, but it was happening in situ. Um, and because of that, there was never any way to fix anything in post. So every piece of dialogue as it was recorded on set was going into the film. And so if something didn't work, I had to rewrite it. Wow. And since you usually well, with a one continuous shot film like this, yeah. on the day of shooting, yes. was there ever any, a quick rewrite or a change? Oh yeah, or... absolutely, absolutely. Wow. That, and that's, you know, that was my job, my very, very stressful job. Oh, I couldn't <laughs> Usually imagine. Usually I can sit at home, I can have a coffee, I can yeah. just type away very leisurely. Um, but I found myself on set with, um, you know, Sam Mendes, Roger Deakins, Colin Firth, kind of like looking down at you and you're just oh. typing away. Um, but that, that was the job, it needs to be. Yep, and you did an amazing job. Thank you. And I'm always curious with writers and the actual writing process, mm. where do you physically write your screenplays? Um, absolutely anywhere I have the time to open my laptop. Anywhere, um, so give me an example. So, I mean, well, for this, I actually wrote some of this whilst I was on the Somme region in northern France in Thiepval. I wrote it in Lille and Paris. Some was written really? in New York. Um, some of it was written in a hotel in <laughs> Darlington, wow. uh, all over the set. So Wiltshire, um, a lot of it in my flat in London, Sam's houses, you know, just basically anywhere that you need to go. That's one of the best bits of being a writer. You can do it anywhere. Yeah, that's amazing. And do you have a favorite scene? I know it's hard asking someone. I, do, it's like, I know, it's, it's like, like picking a favorite yeah, I know, child. I know, I'm like, <laughs> um, I do, I have, my, my, one of my favorite scenes is the cherry orchard. Um, and it's, it's actually, you know, it's a, it's a very kind of quiet, easy scene. Mm -hmm. um, but I just think the way that what the two boys brought to that and what Dennis Gassner built, 
and the way Roger shot it is just a very, very affecting. Well, like I said, I love the movie. I've Thank never you. been so anxious, and I can't <laughs> wait for everyone else to be anxiety-ridden as well. Oh, good. That's what I want also. Thank you so, so much. Thank That's you so, so much. kind of you. Thank yeah, you. It was lovely to meet you. It was really Thank nice you. to meet you as well.